Hey developers, if you're in the United States, I want to wish you guys a happy Memorial Day. If you're not in the United States, I just want to wish you a happy Monday. Today, there is some really cool sales happening on Udemy. I just want to talk to you about the sales and also a really cool course on Gatsby. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. I might have a quick surprise. So let's begin. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack developer. And if you are interested in anything I'm talking to about today, I'm going to put a link to this course I'm talking to you and a few other courses in the description below. If you click on the, those links and you buy anything from Udemy, I actually get a few bucks. They are affiliate links. I appreciate it. So I just want to get that out of the way before I start. So Udemy is having their Memorial Day sale. I'm a little late to this. I actually started Thursday or Friday, but it ends on Monday, or excuse me, Tuesday, tomorrow. But if you buy any of their courses, usually they're around 40, 50 bucks, but you can get them for 76% off. So most courses are around 11.99. So the course we're gonna talk about today is Gatsby with WordPress as a headless CMS. Now I, I'm a big fan of Vue.js, Angular, Ember. I haven't talked a whole lot about React, but this is kind of a neat course. Actually, Thomas just released it. It was released in May. Um, it's uh, Thomas actually gave me a, a copy of this course to take a look at. So I'm not going to give you this uh, complete review of it because I haven't gone through it all. And uh, I'm still learning React. In fact, I'm more of a view guy, but I'm learning React. So, But this is a, a really cool course I wanted to, sh to share with everybody. So if you don't know, like uh, Gatsby is like a a way you can create, um, how should I describe it? It's like a static site generator. Um, you can use it with React. You can then connect it like a, into to different CMSs. Like you can use it with WordPress. So Gatsby your site and it's grabbing information from WordPress to populate it. Uh, populate it. Um, if you're on the view side, there's something called Gridsum, which does something similar. And I'm sure there's um, something similar on the Angular side too, but I'm, I don't know what. If you do know what that is, if there's an Angular type Gatsby app out there, let me know, put it, put it in the description below. Let me know um, what, you, what you come up with. Actually, if you've used Gatsby too, also I'd like you to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about it. So in this course, like I said, it's on sale, it's $11.99. Make sure you pick it up before tomorrow and use the link in the description. But they, this course is about seven hours long, actually six six hours long. It's build a front end with Gatsby and use WordPress as the headless CMS. So you're gonna, in the course, you connect to WordPress using Gatsby. Um, one thing cool about Gatsby and also Gridsum is you use GraphQL, which is kind of the API in the background. If you're learning, if you're looking to learn Gat, uh, Gra GraphQL, this is a great way to do it. Then of course it uses React and then they build a real world client website. So I thought maybe I would just talk a little bit about um, the different sections. Like I said, it's a six hour course. So you're not looking at like a 12 or 40 hour course like some of the other things, but they have downloadable resources. Thomas, I can vouch for him, he creates good courses. And I have gone through a bunch of these videos. Like I said, I haven't done them at all, but it's it's pretty pretty good. So he does it like a, um, like a code along style learning and you learn the Gatsby JS fundamentals. There's no foo or bar, so they're kind of teaching real world, you get into GraphQL. It's quite fast paced, project oriented course. So one thing I like about these types of courses, you create a project. Um, some people like that, some people don't, but I, I like when you create a course. Of course, I mentioned Graph Q, GraphQL, it's code along, you create the headless CS, CMS. I, this is the first time I've ever seen this in a course description, what it's not, but I think that's pretty, pretty clever and something you should probably have in a lot of your courses. So if you don't know React at all, this is probably not the course for you. Um, it, the course will not deeply explain React syntax and it won't teach you GraphQL in detail. We'll use it and should be a great overview start. So I like this, it's a great overview start to learn GraphQL, but it's not gonna be your end all be all GraphQL course. I should find one of those on Udemy and review it. I've not done that. And of course they're not gonna teach WordPress, but they'll teach you how to connect to WordPress. So it's good for intermediate front end developers. I would say even beginner front end developers probably get a lot out of this. Like I said, it's only twelve dollars. So that's that's that. So I'm just gonna kind of look through the different sections. I'm gonna click on it. 
you can see here, you can, I'm going to go to the course here, since I have it. And it says only 66%, like I said, haven't gone through it all, but the first sections, you kind of look at the introduction and, and layout, look at the project overview, get the resources, plugins, then you go into the layout of it. So let's just kind of take a peek at this. I can't obviously display all the video for you. Um, mute it here because that would not be good. But I could probably just show you guys real quickly. You kind of see here on the left-hand side, he's getting into the app a little bit more, creating this uh, hamburger and overlay menu. You see here's some GraphQL that he's doing. Um, then he kind of goes farther into, uh, here's React right here. Later on, you get into the index page, page templates. Um, like here's creating the breadcrumb on it. Uh, let's see here if I can fast forward to what it looks like. So here's more of creating the prop types. And so here's sort of, don't worry about the language here, but it's just um, kind of showing you the breadcrumb at the top right there. And of course this is all English. And then here you do Node.js in here. So he even goes over how to do pagination in here. Um, so we can take a look how he does that. So here's just a React code in here and how he pulls it from the GraphQL and Gatsby. Um, and then uh, post template and then build and deploy. So like I said, it pretty much covers it all. I haven't gone through it all, but if you guys are interested in this this type of course, make sure you click a link uh, in, the, in the description below and and uh, buy it and check it out. So that's uh, this is just quick and easy right now. I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of this type of course. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below, and I and I uh, really appreciate it. Thanks. And one more thing. Actually, I have two copies of this course to give out. If you made it all the way to the end, I want you to leave a comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Leave a comment and tell me one thing you learned about Gatsby or one thing you want to learn about Gatsby. And I will choose two random people to get a copy of this course. So please do that. Take care. Thanks.